cancer doesn't discriminate. And you can be 17 years old and be beautiful and perfectly healthy and still have it happen to you. Hunter had been sick for probably three weeks and they called us and told us it was cancer. The anaplastic large cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And he said, you know, they found a large um, tumor that was sitting on his optic nerve. I had, I had cancer when I was, I was two and then I stopped when I was six. Children with cancer, dreams put on hold their lives and the lives of their families change forever. The parents are scared, the child is scared, they don't understand what's going on. When I first woke up and saw that I was plugged up and the surgery and everything, I was pretty scared. We have long talks about what the diagnosis is, what the treatment plan is going to be, what the side effects are likely to be. Imagine your own child, if this was your child and you had to uh, stay in the hospital or basically live in the hospital for weeks and days and sometimes months on end. We try to make these rooms as friendly as we can. We try to make them as bright as we can and as comfortable as we can. It, it obviously it's kind of hard for me to be in the rooms like this, but it's not just a room. It's somewhere where I laid and fought for my life. So yeah, and it's really important have a good environment around you while you're going through things like that. Anna Hayes has ideas for decorating the new Willett Children's Hospital rooms. I would make a little machine that would make and that you could stick it in somebody's <clears throat> somebody and then you could and it could make them not get cancer anymore. While the rooms of the new children's hospital may not ever come with a magic cancer machine, Dwayne and Cynthia Willett are making sure they're equipped to help children who must fight for their lives. The children's hospital will be able to cure ills for decades in the future. Thanks to the Willett Children's Hospital and medical professionals and individuals just like you, the battle against cancer is being fought and won. Those on the front lines are our inspiration. Derek is still a miracle child. <laughs> he, even through all of this, he still um, remained a happy kid. He still participates and does everything. So he always says that if he just keeps trusting and believing that he'll see again, and we definitely believe that. You better be brave. No more chemo, no more chemo, no more chemo. Hooray, hooray, hooray! <laughs> he turned 14, so so far 2016 is looking amazing. And then you start this journey, this cancer journey, and you learn so much not only about yourself, but about the people around you, the support systems, and about how strong your child is. And you find out he's the strongest person you ever met. He's my hero. I wish I had millions of dollars, I would donate for rooms. I, I just go ahead and pay for all of them. But uh, I don't, you just have to fight to fight. And she fought it well. This place matters, it's really, really important.